What is up, you guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here with me once again today. For those of you who are new, my name is Kira Selena, also known as Nurse Key. I'm a practical nurse, and on my channel, I talk about nursing, feminine health, beauty, lifestyle, and finance. So by the end of this video, you like what you see, and you would like to join our family to see more content like this from me in the future, don't forget to join the family by banging on that red subscribe button right down below, as well as clicking on the notification bell right next to it. That way you'll be notified whenever I post future content. If ever you guys have any questions, or if you guys would like to keep in touch with me the best way to do so is through instagram so i'm going to leave my instagram right down here as well as the direct link that will take you straight to my instagram account so that you guys can follow me on there and reach out to me through there so in today's video as mentioned in the title we are going to be talking all about dark knuckles this is probably one of my most requested videos a lot of people have been reaching out to me ever since i made my video talking about dark knees and elbows and so i decided that i'm going to come on here and cover that with you guys today so what are dark knuckles so in the medical world dark knuckles are referred to as acanthosis nigricans and this is basically a condition where skin starts to thicken and you start to develop these dark velvety patches on different parts of your body such as your knuckles your neck, um, sometimes you could get it between your, your thighs or in your groin area, in areas like that. So what causes dark knuckles or acanthosis nigricans? A lot of the times it's directly related to obesity or type two diabetes, but there are other conditions that can cause this problem as well, such as PCOS, other known as polycystic ovarian syndrome or Cushing syndrome, right? And pretty much a bunch of conditions that can overall just affect your hormonal levels, which is why it is so important. And I tell you guys this all the time, our skin is the largest organ on our body and it can tell us a lot. So if you start to see that your skin is changing, the, the color of your skin is changing, it's extremely important that you go seek help from your doctor. That way they can run tests and rule everything out. And then that way you'll have a clear picture of what it is that's going on. And if there is something wrong, then you'll know how to treat. What can you do to prevent your your knuckles from darkening and once again since this is um, a lot of the times links to type 2 but diabetes there's not really much that you can do to prevent it the best thing for you to do like I said before is to go seek help from your medical from your physician or from your doctor as soon as possible that way if you know what's going on you have a clear picture of what's going on then you and the doctor can start working on treatment plans or medications that you can get on to help with the core of the condition and then you could go ahead and focus on remedies and stuff that you could do but once again, like I say in all my videos, if you don't deal with the issue at the core, it doesn't matter how many remedies or how many products you use, you're not going to see a difference or you might see a difference, but the condition, the problem is going to keep reoccurring because you didn't deal with the issue at the core, right? So make sure you guys go rule that out. So what is some... All right, so let's say you went to the doctor, you ruled everything out, you don't have any medical condition, you were just unlucky and for some reason, your knuckles got a little bit darker than the rest of your hand. What are some remedies that you can do at home to help lighten those knuckles and even out the skin on your hands? So the very first thing that you can do is use baking soda. I've mentioned this in other videos before. Baking soda has natural lightening properties. And all you have to do is take about one tablespoon of baking soda as well as one tablespoon of water. Mix that together until it becomes a nice liquidy paste. And then you can apply it directly onto the affected area and leave it on there for about 15 minutes before rinsing off with some warm water and moisturizing your hands. Now, these are remedies. So keep in mind, this is not necessarily something that is going to um, work like magic or that that's gonna get rid of the issue like within a couple days. This is something that you're continuously going to have to do and that will improve the condition of your skin or the um, color of your knuckles over time, but these are remedies and it will take some time. So stay consistent, because a lot of people message me after a couple days of trying something and they, they are freaking out because they think, they think it's not working. It's not that it's not working, it takes time. So please be patient. The next thing you can use is turmeric. Turmeric powder is probably my favorite thing for everything. There are so many good nutrients in there, anti-inflammatory properties, a whole bunch of things. So turmeric is really good to lighten, brighten, um, help with inflammation. So it's really good for acne scars, um, pimples, anything like that. I speak about this in my whole skincare video, in my whole skincare playlist. So you guys can go check that out after. But I absolutely love, love turmeric powder. And you can find this at the grocery store, any grocery store or Caribbean shop or anything like that. It should be right next to the curry powder if you guys know where to find that. Um, but make sure it's turmeric and not curry, okay? So you guys can take the turmeric powder, take about one tablespoon of that, 
put it in a bowl and mix it with one tablespoon of water the same way you would you would with the baking soda or my favorite way to do it is to mix it with plain greek yogurt because plain greek yogurt is very creamy it's very hydrating so you kind of get like a two in one so you can mix it with plain greek yogurt or with water and you can apply it onto your hands the same way you would the baking soda leave it on there for about 15 minutes and take it off now with this an extra tip that you can do is take some saran wrap and wrap your hands while you have the mask on having that wrap around your hand is going to create heat that heat will open up the pores making it easier for your skin to absorb um, what it is that it's receiving right you can do this with the baking soda as well in fact you can do this with pretty much everything that I'm going to mention but the one thing that I do have to say about the turmeric powder is it definitely stains and I'm gonna show you guys because I used some turmeric powder to cook yesterday and I washed my hands about a hundred times and you can still see some curry on my nails so make sure that you are very very careful because it stains like it really really does stain your nails um for the baking soda you can use gloves but for the turmeric i would definitely say to use the saran wrap and be very careful with your nails because once again it can stain leave that on for 15 minutes rinse off and you can use this every single day the next thing you can do is exfoliate and i talk to you guys about the importance of exfoliating all the time we are constantly generating new skin we are constantly shedding and a lot of the times if you don't exfoliate your skin just that accumulation of dead skin on the surface of your skin can make your skin look a lot duller or darker than it actually is so make sure that you are exfoliating and one way that you can do this take some brown sugar one teaspoon of brown sugar put it into a bowl and you can mix it with half a tablespoon of lemon juice mix that together you can also add a little bit of honey in there just to make it a little bit stickier so that it's not so runny and then just take that and exfoliate your hands the same way you would if you're washing your hands make sure you scrub 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 for a few minutes and then rinse it off with some warm water and then you can do it again because with acanthosis nigricans you will also see that the skin will start to thicken so exfoliating and making sure that you're getting rid of all of that dead skin on top will make it look a lot less patchy and a lot less thick. Some exfoliants that you can also use are some that I mentioned to you guys in my old videos, such as the Dove um, exfoliating polishes. They have the macadamia and rice milk one. Um, there's the pomegranate one and the butter, almond butter and mango one that you guys can use. Those work just fine as well. And lastly, and this is probably my last resort, and I don't really like to recommend this to people because I know, um, you know, the stigma around it, and I also know how damaging it can be to your skin, but I'm gonna mention it anyway because it is something that you can use, and that is bleaching creams. Now, I don't want anybody to come after me because I'm not encouraging anyone to bleach their skin. I'm not telling you to go change your color from head to toe. This is just for the affected area, right? And the reason why ble bleaching creams can be effective is because they're high in an ingredient, an active ingredient called hydroquinone, and that is the ingredient that is going to go target that skin and lighten it over time. So this is not something that is brightening. It's literally going Going to lighten meaning that it is going to lighten the shade of that skin right so be very careful make sure that you're only applying it on the affected area and that you're not necessarily getting it anywhere else because if you do get it on any other part of your body it will lighten that part of the body now once again this is not something that happens immediately this is something that's going to happen with time but lightening creams are gonna work a lot faster than any of the other remedies that I mentioned because of the chemicals and stuff that are in it now this can be harsh it can be drying to the skin so be very careful we'll make sure that you're going in with a good thick moisturizing butter such as cocoa butter or shea butter right after just to really protect the skin and make sure that it's not drying out but all you have to do with these creams is apply it to the affected area you can leave it on for about 15 minutes and then just rub it into the area rub it in just like you would the cream rub it in and then you can leave it and go to sleep some lightening creams that I know of are carrot care carotin or Carol whites there's fair and white and my ultimate favorite ambi ambi is what I use to get rid of hyperpigmentation on my face after um, I had like serious cystic acne breakouts in the past and that has helped me so 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 much so ambi is something that i have personally used not to bleach my skin but to lighten hyperpigmentation and that worked really really well for me i've heard some great things about the other ones that i mentioned and i have seen them because i i see them in beauty supply stores and stuff like that but i haven't used them so i can't really attest for them too much those are just some of the ones that i've heard of and ambi is the one that i use and i will be leaving the link to ambi down in the description 
description so that you guys can go purchase it if ever you guys are interested. All right, guys, so that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to let me know in the comments as well as like and share. It really helps me with the algorithm. It helps me get my videos out there, so help a girl out. And for those of you who are new, if you like this video and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to check out my skincare playlist. I cover so many different skin issues there. So before sending me a DM, go scroll through that and make sure that I didn't cover the issue that you want to question me about. If you want to see more content like this in the future, join the family by subscribing as well as turning on your notification bells. That way you'll be notified when I post future content. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in my next one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here with me once again. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I appreciate you guys so, so much and I will see you all in my next one. Much, 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 much love. Bye.